kicking Mustang right there in his first ever video appearance. Right in the dick. Look at this f***ing stud. Fucking red lasers, mate. Hey guys, it's Magaz here. Today I'm doing my first ever React video. If I've done one before, I really don't think I have, then that was my first one and this is my second one, but I'm pretty sure this is my first one. I'm full of a cold. I spent three days not being able to speak. It is not the coof. I had a test. I stuck a thing up my nose and in my mouth in the other order because that way it'd be a bit. And I got the results back and it says you probably don't have the coof. Anyway, those of you who came into Airsoft in the post YouTube days, you have Airsoft gameplay review and gun shooty shoot footage at your fingertips anytime, day and night, when you're taking a shit, whatever. If you started like me in the late 90s, yeah, I'm, I'm that fucking old. YouTube wasn't invented, so we were fucked. That is until we found the Airsoft Retreat Airsoft Video Database. You could submit your videos to these guys and then people around the world could download them and take a look. Fantastic. This is where I first found video footage and got hooked. The only issue I had was 56k, which meant to get these videos I had to walk three doors up to my neighbour with a piece of paper saying download these videos, here's a disc to put them on, and the next day I'd get this disc with all these fucking videos on. Me and my mates would all sit around my little CRT 4x fucking monitor like this. Let's watch some fucking gameplay from Sweden! And that's what we're going to look at right now. We're going to take a look at the very first Airsoft gameplay video I ever saw. We assume it's from Sweden because it's called Hastaklak and nobody knows what the fuck that means. And they're all wearing Swedish M90 camo, uh, which is which is this stuff. I cannot play the audio from this particular video. It's that song from the end of Ghostbusters, that saving the day thing. First thing you're going to see is the format of this, that 4-3 aspect ratio. So this was like 320 by 240. This is the video that got me a major chubby for filming Airsoft gameplay. It wasn't the kind of gameplay video that you see nowadays. It's somebody with a DV camera just walking about filming it, and it's super cheesy. It looks pretty cool. It's just some guys having fun in Sweden, possibly Sweden. Let's take a look. Check out the cheddar. These guys are wearing Swedish M90, which was really difficult to get hold of in the UK at that point in time. And they're all wearing LA-style assault vests, probably Black Hawk vests, as you can see. Fucking red lasers, mate. Kicking Mustang right there in his first ever video appearance. Check this guy out, this is part of the cinematic thing, you see more of that at the end. God, I've seen this video so many fucking times. Right, so what we've got here is a Tokyo Marine Knights Armament SR-16. That's probably what this fucking gun is because it was 2002 when I got this video. And that's basically the only one of them guns you could get unless you built it yourself. Really cheap dot sight on there, look at them LA vests. There's going to be a video coming soon that's totally disrespecting LA assault vests. If you don't like them, hit subscribe and you'll see when that goes live. Oh, look at this, look at this. Like a Marushin M1 carbine, maybe an M2. Absolute classic piece of kit there. Look at the date on the thing! 2001! 10th of March, 2001. Yeah, he's definitely set this up up. Look at that! Take your mask off in the skirmish area! That'll be a Tokyo Marue TM Tacmaster. Look at it, maybe. Oh, gonna defog them glasses. Right, this guy. This guy is the guy who you thought was the cool guy in the video with the fucking TMP and he's... Has he got a fucking South African assault vest? I thought this guy was cool. There's not a lot of vests worse than the LA assault vest. South African assault vest. Hate them. Well, this guy with his TMP, he wrecks some shop in a minute. Beanie guy. Look, they're all wearing... Pretty much all of them are wearing the same mesh masks. Tell every time I fucking see this. <laughs> right, this was the video that made me want to stay rogue. Look at it. It's Tokyo Mirue Stay Rogue SRT, so the special receiver type with the flat rail. And uh, we know it's that because at this time, Tokyo Mirue were the only people making Stay Rogues. And it's got like a, a cheap, nasty 3 to 9 by 30 scope on there. And I know he's got a he's got a suppressor on it as well. Walking from my, my house to my mate's house, it takes about an hour and a half to get there. We'd be walking every time going, right, you know what, mate, when I get a job, I'm gonna get a Tokyo Marui. Stay a rogue police. We just call them police. I've no idea why. That's a flat top model, the SRT. And I'm gonna put a big fuck off silencer on it, because we didn't realise the word suppressor existed. And I'm gonna go to Target Technics, which was a shop in town, and I'm gonna get that big 3 to 9 by 40 scope he's got, 35 quid that is, and I'm going to put it on top, and I'm going to get two high cap mags, because that's all I'll need. Fucking high cap mags. Got to put a one jewel spring in there, and then a TN barrel. And that, that was our talk. Every time, I'd always say that same build. Mate, Ev would always say a similar build, and then 
we'd all have our projects we wanted to do, and I never did that build. In fact, no. I basically did that build at one point. Cool, I fucking lived a dream. Blind firing them, mate. What a dickhead. This is the cool part. Look at this fucking stud. <laughs> nice. I remember back then we were looking at that going, oh my god, look how much that is. Because we were playing with springers across three back gardens. Like three terrace back gardens we used to use. I lived here, my aunt lived there, and the neighbours were like, yeah, you can play in our back garden as well, just let us know when you're doing it. And we'd play across three back gardens with sheds and stuff. Loads of fucking fun. And we'd get tiny little welts. And then we'd see that and we're like, oh my god, mate, fucking airsoft's dangerous. It's fucking dangerous, mate. Bunch of pussies. Right, cinematic part. Hold on to your balls. That last bit with the muzzle flash. I was editing videos back then in Windows Movie Maker. Had a single track for video, had a text layer and an audio layer and a music layer. That was it. And I was trying to work out how I could have a muzzle flash in a video like that. And I'm like putting lighters up to the front of fucking guns. And I'm like, do I hold a flashlight somehow and like flash the flashlight? I can never fucking get it. I even tried this software called Alum DV. Never got it working. I could do it like a piece of piss now, I guess, but it's like 20 something years later. 20 years later. Anyway, this next one. Those mesh masks seem really popular, but I never liked them. Oh, yeah, he got shot. Right in the dick. So, a lot of these videos are super short. There's a couple of longish ones, a couple of funny ones. I think these ones are American videos. Oh, this is one of the ones. These are the first, first person perspective videos that I saw. From what I can remember, he's got an MP5 and he just mounted a big fuck off. DV camera onto the scope rail on top, and then that's it. There we go. <coughs> the, look at these fucking giant square son of a bitch pixels we've got here. This is ridiculous quality. It's better like that, doesn't it? Look at that. It's crazy. In the bush, in the bush, right there. It's your two o'clock. I was really, really into this location. It looks so fucking good, doesn't it? The scrubland, all these bushes and shit. Looks really fucking good. You can hear that winding that hack up. I think this one's got some music on we can't listen to as well. This is another one. I think it's just a bunch of mates playing around on a farm or something. Again, a stay rogue front and centre on this. I remember seeing this for the first time and thinking, he's got a fucking grenade launcher on that stay rogue. It's just the foregrip folded up. No, that's, this can't be British. Look at that. It's very American looking boy in that, isn't it? And he was in the left hand drive, isn't it? But that Mac 11 out the window. I had a Mac 11 for a while. Good fun. Still got it, but it's fucked. Look at this guy in the trench coat. Absolute fucking stud. He's definitely seen the Matrix. The fucking tactics on this guy. Look at him. Let's, let's evaluate this here. Right. So, he's about to breach a door. He's not told his mate what's going on. His mate's not got a clue there's a door there. He might know there's a door there. But his mate's not got a clue, he's just pushed. Gets to the door. Gets in front of it. Looks like his weapon's up. His weapon's up. So he doesn't have his gun on target to engage any threat. And rather than pushing in, which he should have done, him and his buddy should have been right on top. Put some kind of grenade or explosive in there. Followed it in, and then they should have cleared the room. Weapons like this, not like this. And then look at this little fancy twirl against the wall he does. I mean, obviously, I can't see what's going on in there. Maybe he got to there, and then there's somebody over here shooting at him. So he, like, hunkers down over there. But I think he fucked it. He got stuck in the fatal funnel. And check this guy out in blue with white socks. Classic white socks. You can't beat white socks. I remember seeing that back then and thinking, wow, look at that. It's got a folding stock. That's amazing. Really wanted a folding stock AR after seeing this. I was madly influenced by all of these videos. All of the guns that I've got were because of these fucking videos. This guy, this this was amazing for us. This seeing night vision footage. Again, look. Stay rogue. Big fuck off scope on it. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. It's like I got two rifles. Oh no, there's a guy here. And a guy here. LA vest again. Is that Swedish camo again? Are these the same guys? This might be the same guys as the has like video, you know. Cause look, he's all in M90. That guy in the org could be the same guy. He's just wearing blue this time because Urban. I remember seeing this. There was, oh my God. There was another video that was basically all night vision and I don't have it in this collection. I'll have to find it. Cause that was one that we had a fucking absolute boner for and we'd watch it all the time. 
I remember seeing this guy with his JT mask. I run JT masks. Hang on a minute. If you look at this, Ram. It's a good chance this is in the US because of that vehicle. Fresh AK mag in there. Fucking Moser HSC. Non blowback pistol. My first non blowback pistol. I've got two of them. They're both dead. Target Technics, the local shop. Had it in. And I was like, everybody else is using springers at this point and mini electrics. If I get a non blowback gas pistol, I'll, I'll, I'm the best. Anyway, trigger display mate. This night vision gameplay was just intense. I love this bit of editing here. Are you ready? See these guys, look at them. Stacked up on each other. I think they are wearing M90, aren't they? They're moving together. And then look. Hup! They're coming in the door! I like it. I was caught there. Fucking brilliant. Hayashi. I remember this guy because he's got fucking bell bottoms on. they fucking Genko jeans. Look at that. 1990s airsoft right there, mate. And then you got operator as fuck guy here. Did you hear that? Tokyo Marui MP5 SD6 there. With a nickel metal hydride battery that... Did -did 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 -did. Unmistakable sound. Right, this one. We're not going to watch the whole video. This one's about six six minutes long. But look, April 21st, 2001. Have they just rolled up onto some like industrial estate? And they're like, fuck it, we'll play you. It fucking looks like it, doesn't it? So we've got a guy with an AK and a guy with an M4. The resolution on this is fucking terrible. The stance, the stance, what the fuck is that about? See, by the time this video came out, I had actually, I'd played my very first airsoft game already, and it, it'd be almost a year before I got back to my next one. But I'm assuming these guys have just found some fucking wasteland and they're fucking about. Neither of them are very good though, are they? Look at them, they're just, this is not that interesting. Somebody make a fucking move. What, why are you hiding behind that thing? Yeah, he's dead. Sniper of Aga. This sight, look at this. We'd see this as well. Look at, look at this fucking site. It's like a town. Like, we'll never get to play in anywhere like that. Oh my god. We've played in places like this. I like it how they call him Sniper as well. And he just laid the hit with like fucking 50, 60 rounds then. Wind that mag, mate. Wind that mag. Drop your camera and wind that mag. Look at that little 190 round mid cap, high cap. Wind it, wind it, wind it. Oh, you that finger blasting skills. The ladies love them. Bit of semi auto now. Yeah, you can't see what's going on. All you can see is a fucking random shape in the distance. We used to love those two videos. Just because of like looking out that window and seeing the location to play in and thinking, we'll never get to play anywhere like that. There's nothing like that in the UK. As it turns out, the, this place is maybe not exactly like this, but really amazing sites around the country, and we've been lucky enough to play in them. Next one, start movie. Ooh, PSG one. We all wanted one of them. Oh yeah, tactics. Look at this guy. I'm sure there's a guy who does like a tactical roll through a window in a minute. Yeah, uh. I might have bought some M93 eyes mainly because of this video. See, this is one of the first videos where we were actually seeing people kind of being tactical. I fucking remember this video because this is the video where I fell in love with an MP5. I said for years I wanted that stay rogue, and then when this video came out, I'm like, that got there's a tactical roll. I'm like, that guy with the MP5, SD5, with a little dot sight on it, that's what I want. And then I did it. That's what I got, and I ran it for years. I always wanted to play in snow as well. Look. Do you reckon that fucking works? Nope. Way back machine. Skip intro. I bet you that was this video, wasn't it? New movie, December 4th, 2000. Okay, none of this fucking works. I don't think we're getting anything from this. Anyway. So the next one is called VA Rangers CQB. And I believe it's a CQB training video from a, a legit team. The Virginia Rangers. Grenade. <laughs> See, it looks like they're at an actual site and they might have borrowed the site to uh, do some training. <laughs> it 
Is this the same guy from that other video with the trench coat? You think? I don't know. Trench coats. They're just a bit fucking cringe, aren't they? Virginia Rangers. Dot. Sorry, we're going to have to, aren't we? Cool. Look at this. This is cool. This is what every airsoft team in the world had at this time. 